Hey there, of course, I'm Sophia Green, and we're gonna jump right into sexy news that takes the form of Fifty Shades of Grey. Mr. Grey will see you now. During the Golden Globes, they premiere the second trailer of the movie, every excited partner that will be dragging their unwilling partner to see. Personally, I'm more excited for the soundtrack because Queen Bee is slaying in it. I'm haunting you, you must be haunting me. So remember, it's out on Valentine's Day, and please be warned to not go with your family. Hey, you want to see comedians make fun of Justin Bieber? Of course you do! SNL parody Justin Bieber's Calvin Klein campaign it was perfect. Kate McKinnon impersonation was spot on. This tattoo made me say owie. Especially with that weird squint he does all the time, like it's always sunny. But before the SNL parody, there was another issue with the campaign. Photos leaked with a side-by-side -side comparison of an untouched edit versus the final edit. There are many people on social media making fun of the untouched edit, but come on! Body shaming isn't cool, even if it's Justin Bieber. Finally, the Oscar nominations are out. Do you hear that, Jacob? Yay! But there's one big issue with the Oscars this year. The president of the Academy screwed up the name of a cinematographer during a nomination from Dick Pope to Dick Poop. Dick Poop. Dick Pope. For Mr. Turner. I'm actually pretty excited to see Dick Poop's work. Dick Poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, oh my god. I'm kidding. But the real big issue is that this is going to be the whitest Oscars in years. The last time the nominations went to an all-white performers was in 1995. And of course, social media took notice. Hashtag Oscars so white was trending with some funny and serious tweets. Jessica Chastain brought up the importance of diversity in the industry while accepting an award at the Critics' Choice Award. Martin Luther King Jr. said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And I would like to encourage everyone in this room to please speak up. The president of the Academy, Cheryl Bone Isaac, also addressed the subject by saying, quote, personally, I would love to see and look forward to see a greater cultural diversity among all our nominees in all of our categories. All right, now enough of that mainstream news. It's time for Algonquin news. Tone deaf. The blockbuster hit Gone Girl will be screening at Algonquin Commons Theater. Nick Dunn, who is played by Ben Affleck, reports that his wife Amy, played by Rosamund Pike, is missing. Slowly, the spotlight is turned on him when the media thinks he has killed his wife. You ever hear the expression, the simplest answer is often the correct one? Actually, I've never found that to be true. It's on Monday the 26th. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. and the movie starts at 7 p.m. And the best thing about it, it's free. That's my favorite word. Free. You think you and your partner are the best at playing pool and definitely have the skills to win some cash money? Students Association is hosting a pool tournament observatory. It's on Tuesday the 27th and starts at 7 p.m. There's a $20 entry fee, but also first, second, and third place prizes, like a $200 Visa gift card. And lastly, live band rock star karaoke is coming back for the first time this semester. It's a pretty cool experience because you have a live band backing you up. It's on Wednesday the 28th. Doors open at 8.30 p.m. and starts at 9 p.m. It also features my favorite word again, free. But wait, there's also chicken wings for 40 cents. You can find more information at the Algonquin Essay website for these events. And that's all for your entertainment on the weekly. Coming up, we have Chantel testing out recipes on Pinterest and seeing if they're really that delicious. 